Welcome to Life in My Greenhouse. Today, we're making a delicious recipe that you can have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'll share the simple way I make shakshuka and have it with my skillet potatoes. I'll use garden fresh pureed tomatoes and fresh chopped tomatoes from the greenhouse. Vine ripened tomatoes, it doesn't get much better than that. So join me in the kitchen as I show you how to make this delicious, cozy meal. Shikshuka is a North African and Middle Eastern dish. The dish consists of warm flavors and spices. It's gained popularity worldwide and I can definitely understand why. Ironically, I was first introduced to this dish on a cooking show and I have never forgotten it. Hard to believe that it's been over 12 years ago and I've been making it ever since. We'll start by adding a tablespoon of oil to a pan on medium heat. Now traditionally, you would saute diced onions in the oil. I'm actually starting with garlic because I'll be serving my shachuka with a delicious side of skillet potatoes which are loaded with onions and fresh peppers. I've added two cloves of garlic on very low heat. I want to infuse all the beautiful garlic notes into the olive oil. Now the recipe calls for chopped tomatoes. I've pureed my tomatoes from the greenhouse. I've added a half a cup of fresh tomato puree to the pan. I'll also add a diced tomato. You can add a variety of spices such as chili peppers, cumin, paprika, or no spice at all. After all, it's your shakshuka. So feel free to customize it however you like. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon each of paprika, cumin, and chili flakes. Stir all your seasonings together in preparation for our eggs. I prefer using pureed tomatoes because it doesn't take as long to break it down in the pan. With the pan on a low simmer, crack your eggs right into the pot. Now most people recommend that you crack the eggs into a separate container and then gently place them in the pan. But I guess I was living on the edge this morning. I'll now add grated parmesan for that perfect balance. As the eggs cook on this delicate simmer, we'll put the lid on. I prefer my eggs just over medium. Within two to three minutes, they're cooked to perfection. Sprinkle with fresh chopped parsley and cilantro. Now you can serve with toasted crusty bread. You can find a recipe in my bread playlist or my perfect skillet potato. Just check out my breakfast playlist for the recipe. Although I wouldn't limit these potatoes to just breakfast, they're so delicious. And just like that, my beloved, you've made delicious comforting shakshuka. This dish is so wholesome and satisfying. Thank you so much for spending time with us in the greenhouse. As a thank you, I've included a recipe card for you. Can you kindly give this video a big thumbs up? And if you're looking for a family, I welcome you to subscribe. If you'll allow me, I wanted to encourage someone who might be having a hard day today. In the tapestry of life, adversity is a thread that adds depth. Resilience is the needle that weaves through and courage is the masterpiece that emerges against all odds. I encourage you to find the strength to face tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. And remember, the grass is always greener where you water it. See you next time.